Hi there, Andy Ron here with Montana Land Source. It is August 2nd, 2023, and this is the short video summary of the weekly Montana Land Report. We put out the weekly Montana Land Report every Wednesday, and it highlights all the new market activity in the land market in Montana, including new listings, sales, pendings, price changes, whatnot, as well as any new news or events or analysis on the Montana land market. Over the past week in Montana, we've had 18 total property updates for uh, acreage 200 acres and larger. This seems to be about the new normal. We average about 20 property updates a week uh, so far in 2023. Occasionally with bigger weeks, a couple weeks ago, we actually had a 40 um, property update week, which was quite high, but generally we're around uh, 20 properties per week uh, updates. This past week, two new, uh, I'm sorry, six new listings, two properties back on the market, four price changes, all of those but one were decreases, one was an increase. Uh, that property had just been listed, so uh, I haven't had a chance to follow up with the broker on that, but that might have just been a, um, an error on that. The price was jumped almost immediately after hitting the market two pending sales and four sales. So just a continuation of what we've been seeing all summer, which is much less market activity than usual. I think we're in a correction period after such an extreme market in 2021 and into 2022. Looking at some of the live market stats that are on mtlandsource.com, which uh, you can go see yourself at any time. Uh, the volume is just way down this year. Uh, we're looking at 87% of the volume of sales uh, this year so far than, than compared to 2022. 165% down since 2021, which was a record-breaking year. But uh, nonetheless, just seeing things really correcting out there. Uh, average list prices are down, average sales prices are down. So everything is just kind of slowing down a bit. There is still demand out there. We are seeing some high sales. Um, so it's not any kind of crash necessarily, just a correction. Um, quality properties are trading. Brokers do say there is demand. They do have buyers that are interested, but the buyers, as we've been talking about for weeks, are much more patient, much more cautious, that kind of thing. So in news, um, the Montana Farm and Ranch Brokers meeting is coming up. You can find info at that as well at mtlandstores.com. The next meeting will be uh, Madison Grady, who is a political affairs coordinator for the Montana um, Realtors Association. It's always good to get some legislative update. That's some value that the Montana Farm and Ranch Brokers is trying to bring is uh, easy way to stay up on some of the legislative issues that might be affecting the land market industry, which is difficult to do without an organization like that helping out. And then the newest uh, recording of the Ranch Investor podcast features uh, economists, ag economists from MSU, Eric Belasco. I haven't, I wasn't on that podcast with Coulter. I actually haven't had a chance to listen to that podcast yet, but I'm looking forward to it. In general, check out the Ranch Investor podcast, all kinds of great content on uh, land market and land investment and whatnot. Well, that is the news for this week. Like I've been saying, there's uh, lots of information, including live market stats at mtlandsource.com. You can also sign up for the email Montana Land Report, which goes out every Wednesday. Thank you everyone for paying, uh, tuning in and we will see you next week.